What is remote viewing? Basically, remote viewing is perceiving places, events, things, people at a distance. Describing something happening in the past, present, or future that's not local, not available to the five senses. Basically, that's what it is. Um, it's an information collection tool, and every human being is capable of, of using this tool with the proper training. Essentially, we're all using uh, this communication tool all the time. It's just not many are trained to aim this tool, to aim this uh, intelligence collection tool at a specific target and uh, collect clear data that's uh, not hindered by the imagination or by the self, by the, the conscious mind. So remote viewing is kind of like a way to trick, not trick, but keep the conscious mind busy with paperwork while the subconscious mind feeds through information about the target. Now the target can be a place, a person, a thing, or an event in the past, present, or future. <clears throat> and the viewer is given a target number, a target reference number. This is just a random generated uh, usually an eight-digit number, ran randomly generated. And this this is so that the viewer, the person who's going to do the, the remote viewing, is blind. So they don't know what they're looking at. So remote viewing, when done correctly, under blind or double-blind conditions, uh, is the scientific protocol, the scientific method that uh, is, should be used more often. And there's a lot of people who do remote viewing front-loaded. That means that, let's say you're about to do a session, instead of being completely blind and not having any idea of what this target's going to be, you'll be given uh, a hint, basically, of what it is. So, so let's say you were going to remote view the Eiffel Tower. A front-loaded session would tell you a hint up front. It would say, this is a location that you're viewing, or this is in Paris, or something like that. So to me, uh, that's good for training purposes and so on and so forth. But when it comes to working operational targets and wanting to keep the conditions clean scientifically, uh, double blind and blind sessions of remote viewing are the way to go. And so the protocols, there's many different met methodologies of, of remote viewing, many different kinds, but they all basically work through the same same, they use the same technique. The subconscious mind is cued on a target and the conscious mind uh, goes through the, the structure of, of data collection and, and outputs it on the paper. So the conscious mind is busy, concentrated on the structure of the work, of, of writing it out in a certain way, while the subconscious mind feeds through the information. The same way uh, you'd be sitting there and all of a sudden you get the urge to go to the washroom. Uh, to you, to your conscious self, it's just a feeling that you get. You just know you have to go to the washroom. Your subconscious mind just let you know you got to go to the washroom. And, uh, and so you'll do it. it. It crosses the threshold of awareness. Remote viewing is a way to push signals from beneath the threshold of awareness into conscious awareness about a specific target. So it's like aiming your subconscious mind and uh, getting it to retrieve data from you from anywhere in time and space. And that's what remote viewing is, essentially.